100 Bugs, a counting book by Kate Narita and pictures by Susan Kaufman. Explorers, explorers, rising with the sun. Hat on the creaky door, pack on the shiny floor. It's time for some bug counting fun. Walking sticks, walking sticks, hiding all about. One by the old hose, nine by the gold rose. How many bugs hiding about? Ten. Dragonflies, dragonflies, zipping all about. Two by the weather vane and eight by the bug vane. How many bugs zipping about? Ten. Leaf hoppers, leaf hoppers, hopping all about. Three by the farrow and seven by the yarrow. How many bugs hopping about? Ten. Ladybugs, ladybugs, zooming all about. Four by the rafters, six by the asters. How many bugs zooming about? Ten. Bumblebees, bumblebees, buzzing all about. Five by the horse feed, five by the sneeze weed. How many bugs buzzing about? Ten. How many bugs out and about? Fifty bugs hanging out. Butterflies, butterflies, flitting all about. Six by the rain boot, four by the snake root. How many bugs? Flitting about. Ten. Damselflies, damselflies, darting all about. Seven by the wishing well, three by the coral bells. How many bugs darting about? Ten. Spittlebugs, spittlebugs, jumping all about. Eight by the chicken cage, two by the woodland sage. How many bugs jumping about? Ten. Catadeeds, catadeeds, singing all about. Nine by the wood box, one by the white phlox. How many bugs singing about? Ten. Lightning bugs, lightning bugs, flying all about. Ten by the happy boy, zero by the autumn joy. How many bugs flying about? Ten. Ten bugs hanging out. 10 from before plus 10 more, 20 bugs hanging out. 20 from before plus 10 more, 30 bugs hanging out. 30 from before plus 10 more, 40 bugs hanging out. 40 from before plus 10 more, 50 bugs hanging out. 50 from before plus 10 more, 60 bugs hanging out. 60 from before plus 10 more, 70 bugs hanging out. 70 from before plus 10 more, 80 bugs hanging out. 80 from before plus 10 more, 90 bugs hanging out. 90 from before plus 10 more, 100 bugs out and about. Hip, hip, hooray! It's a 100 bug count day. More about the bugs. Candy striped leafhopper. Even though there are more than 20,000 species of leafhoppers worldwide, this true bug marches to the beat of a different drummer. They run sideways, the females are larger than the males, and they shoot their waist far away from themselves to keep predators off their trails. Convergent Lady Beetle. Three, two, one, blast off. In 1999, four lady beetles, also known as ladybugs, flew on NASA's Columbia Space Shuttle so that scientists could see if they could eat aphids in space, just like they do on Earth. They can. Lady beetles were supposed to return to space in 2015 as part of an experiment to see how microgravity affects their life cycle, but the rocket blew up. Eastern Forktail. Damselflies are a lot like dragonflies, but they rest with their wings folded above their backs. Dragonflies can eat prey in mid-flight, but a damselfly dines while perched on a plant. Eastern Tiger Swallowtail. Trick or treat, these butterflies wear disguises to avoid predators. A young caterpillar looks like bird poop. The large eye spots on an older caterpillar makes enemies think it's a big snake. An adult female coloring mimics the poisonous pipevine swallowtail butterfly. Giant walking stick. Walking sticks are wingless wonders that avoid enemies by posing as twigs. 
If a bird grabs a walking stick's leg, the leg breaks off from the insect's body. Young walking sticks can regrow missing legs, but adults can't. Pennsylvania Firefly. Lightning bugs have their own secret code. To attract mates, a male gives off a short green dot of light followed by a longer dash. A female flashes to attract mates. And for another reason, she also uses her light to attract males of other species. Then she eats them. Rattler Round Wing Catadide. Imagine if your ears were on your knees. A catadide's tiny ears are on its leg, but they work just like ours by capturing sound, amplifying it, and transferring the information to the brain. Tri-colored bumblebee. What's all the buzz about? Bumblebees buzz when flying to new places and to shake pollen off to flowers. They also buzz back at the nest. When they fan the air with their wings, it cools off the nest and lets the workers know there's a flower feast nearby. Two-lined spittlebug. A spittlebug squirts milky white goo out of its abdomen and whips it into a bubbly froth. The foamy covering hides the little insects from hungry birds and protect it from the hot sun. Wandering glider. These dragonflies really know how to get around. They've been spotted hundreds of miles out to sea and 20,000 feet above sea level in the mountains of the Himalayas. More about the plants. Autumn joy. Some people trim autumn joy blooms when they wither and dry out, but wildlife lovers don't touch the faded flowers. They know birds will feast on the seeds all winter long. Bugbane. Bugbane blooms like tall white candles, so some people call them fairy candles. Fairies have yet to be seen on the flowers, but scientists agree that butterflies flock to their flames. Common sneezeweed. Don't let the name fool you. This plant won't make you sneeze. So why do deer avoid it? They steer clear of its toxic and bitter leaves. Common yarrow. Talk about an old fossil. Scientists have found 60,000 year old fossilized yarrow pollen in caves. They disagree about whether Neanderthals or bees transported there. Coral bells. Producing seeds is not as easy as one, two, three. In order for a coral bell plant to create a seed, it needs another coral bell nearby. If there are no neighboring plants, there are no seeds. Garden Phlox. White-tailed deer and eastern cottontail rabbits love to feast on phlox. To stop them, gardeners can sprinkle fox urine around their yard. Julia Child Rose. One day after lunch, Julia Child visited Weeks Roses, a rose growing company in California. She chose this rose to be named after her because the yellow color reminded her of the butter she uses in cooking and because she liked its licorice scent. New England Aster. An aster is a rest stop for bugs. The flower's petals provide flat landing spots and its yellow center is like a food court for bees, beetles, and butterflies. White snake root. When cows continually eat small amounts of white snake root, they produce milk that can sicken or even kill calves and humans. Nancy Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln's mother, died from milk sickness. Luckily, cows aren't allowed to graze near snake root today. Woodland sage. Woodland sage plants attract bees, butterflies, hummingbirds, and people too. That's why this European plant grows in every state, including Hawaii and Alaska.